Welcome to another episode of Soul Food Sundays. Let me tell y'all something. I'm almost over this whole operation. This is my fourth time trying to record this video. The first time I got started, I got five minutes in, I was hungry as hell. My body said, stop, halt, who goes there? So I had to go fix me some breakfast. So I ate, got all energized and enthusiastic about trying again. Then... I start the video, and I mean, I'm giving y'all the business. And about four minutes in, I noticed that the camera is turned the opposite way. I said, okay, you know what, we're going to start over. We're going to keep a good attitude. Keep a cool head. Let's do it again. Third time, the phone said, uh, I ain't got enough storage to keep recording. The hell? So here we are. Fourth time's the charm. I've already shuffled the cards. I won't be shuffling them again because the message is the me message and God has spoken. Ooh, I'm itching. I got a new tattoo. And it's at that point where it's super itchy. But anyway, um, I hope you guys have had an awesome week. And uh, we are we have some messages here to help you navigate the week that is going that is coming up. We're blessed to see another week. So we don't want to take that for granted and we want to go into it a little more prepared. And uh, I'm here to help us feel Jackson that thing, coach us through. Um, speaking of feel, I plan on spending my day um, watching uh, The Last Dance because uh, I grew up in the Jordan Pippen era and I used to watch basketball relentlessly back then. I can't tell you nothing about it now, but... I definitely used to uh, watch it all the time back when Jordan was playing. And so, although I am late with catching the um, the um, series, I will be doing that today along with uh, working on my shoe closet. I got some shells I need to put together for my shoe closet. So, I'll be getting my Bob Bila on, my uh, Tamisha the Tool Man, Tool Lady Taylor on today. And that's probably going to be it for me. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. I hope this message finds you well. And we're just going to go ahead and get into it since I've already pulled the cards. Um, so we have Gateway. We have Openness. We have New Beginnings. And we have Diligence. So what this message is telling us is that as we go into this new week, we need to be open to new beginnings. We need to be open to working diligently um, to bring forth those things that we wish to manifest. And we need to be open to uh, walking into a new gateway. We need to be open to leaving some things in the past and embracing some, some new beginnings. And we need to understand that it's not going to always be easy. That we're going to need to be diligent about doing so. One thing I like about this deck is the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Is that um, it It has some brief but very uh, pertinent information um, relative to each card. It's not very extensive reading. So we're going to get right into it with the first card being Gateway. Magic is afoot. Wondrous events are unfolding. Profound revelations and inner illuminations are close at hand. It is now much easier to manifest your dreams. This is an excellent time to take action on your visions for your future. A small amount of action now will generate much bigger results. Gateways to spirit are opening and there are places where the veil is especially thin. Fairies and elves are supporting you. Wonders are blossoming in your life watch for them open your heart to hallowed holy magical energy the more you become aware of the small marvels in your life the more they will grow in magnitude one thing that has been illuminated for me throughout the past few months is that um 
God truly does work in mysterious ways. The elders used to say that all the time, but nobody really expounded on what those mysterious ways were. Gateway is telling us to pay attention to the mysterious ways in which God is trying to communicate with you and bring forth um, the blessings with that you have prayed for, that you have worked for. Um, I know for me, I'm um, I'm receiving messages in my dreams. I'm seeing numbers. I'm seeing, I'm hearing people say things in synchronicity with other things that have been presented to me. Um, lyrics to songs are speaking to me differently. So uh, you just want to be in alignment. You want to be mindful. You want to quiet your mind um, so that you are able to tune in to um, the gateway of illuminations that are coming forth for you. I know for me, I'm going through uh, what's called a crown chakra activation. Um, the crown chakra being the energy center that connects with divine wisdom. And man, it's been wearing me out this week. Uh, tension, headaches, um, just all kinds of divine wisdom coming in. I'm journaling a lot more um, lately to try to reflect on and keep up with the information that's coming in for me. And uh, I'm not complaining. It's been an awesome experience. I thank God for being able to connect in that way. But uh, it's definitely a gateway for me. The second card is openness. We probably can all use a little bit more of that. So it says, when you receive this card, be open to receiving signs. Told you. Gateway. Be still. Do nothing. Be open. Breathe. Relax completely and thoroughly. Incubate your dreams for the future. If you're trying to make a decision, take the time to watch for signs and listen to the whispers of the universe. Watch your dreams for messages regarding the situation. Become the sacred watcher. Observe life as it unfolds rather than becoming engaged in it. Be open to what the universe has in store for you. Be receptive to messages from your soul. This card can also be the bringer of sacred wonders into your life. Miracles can show up in ways you didn't expect. These two cards uh, very much reinforce one another. You need to be open to receiving the messages that God is bringing forth for you. When you're distracted, you won't see it. So you want to identify your distractions and then you want to identify ways to uh, rid yourself of those distractions and then you want to do that. You want to take that action to rid yourself of those distractions so that you can pay attention to the signs that God is giving you to lead you in the right direction, to lead you to new beginnings. So the next card being new beginnings. Let's see what new beginnings is time at. That's pretty self-explanatory, but we're going to dive a little deeper into it. Your life is expanding in profound and wondrous ways. New experiences and ideas are emerging. Vitality and wide open opportunities are at hand. Seize the day. This is a perfect time to begin that new project or give birth to an emerging idea. Timing is everything and the time is now. Anything and everything is possible. Good fortune awaits you. The rising sun is the ultimate symbol of the yang principle, expanding power and activity. You are radiant and luminous. There is a glow within you that can be felt by all. What this card is saying that, and this is something that uh, many of you probably needed to hear, it's just confirming that new beginnings are ahead of us to stay uh, diligent, stay faithful, stay relentless, and be open to the new beginnings that are ahead of you keep your head up stay strong um because you're on the brink of a breakthrough the sun is still shining on you every day that you get up and you're able to see the sun and the sun is shining on you as a new opportunity for you to create a new beginning and know that you are supported by the divine god is leading you in the direction which you should be um moving in and it's up to you to rid yourself of the distractions and put one foot in front of the other that's all god is asking you to do he's got the rest so uh, we want to make sure that we are nourishing ourselves that we are um making self-care a priority and not only making self-care a priority but making radical self-care a priority um so that we can receive all that God has in store for us. And with radical self-care, we're making some major moves. 
radical self care is not just a facial and a pedicure. Um, radical self care is more so I'm gonna cancel everything on my schedule so that I can have that me time, so that I can pamper myself, so that I can have some time to think I'm gonna disconnect from people who don't serve my purpose, people who don't encourage me, people who are just taking up space. That's radical self-care. You know, anything radical that you do is out of the ordinary, out of the box. And it's not the most popular decision or thing to do, but it's what feels good to you. So you want to be radical about stepping into and receiving your new beginnings. And you want to protect those things that lead you to new beginnings. So you want to um, you want to pursue it with diligence, which is our next card. There are times in life to step forward and take risks, but there are other times to be patient, step carefully and slowly, and know that the benefits you will gain in the future will be worth it. Be attentive, meticulous, and persistent. Use this time to plan for action steps in the future. Be diligent and consistent at each step as you move forward. By doing so, you will harvest remarkable results in the years ahead. This is not the time for instant gratification. Your diligence will pay off in the future tenfold. This is the time for deliberate organization, clean house, clear clutter out of your life. Be thoughtful about how you spend your time and be discerning when choosing with whom you spend it. Clear out relationships that do not support you. Didn't I just say that? That's what I had said. This is basically telling you that it may be a, a slow process. Slow and steady wins the race, but what it's not time to do is be still and allow life to blow you all over the place. You want to set your sails in the right direction, in the direction that you want to go. You want to take some control over the, the direction of your life and allow God to lead you in that direction. Um, and you want to do it in a way that is not... Um, that is not like you don't want to rush into it you don't want to do it the the fast way i know in my experience everything i've rushed into didn't work out i ended up wasting time resources emotion frequent flyer miles you name it so nowadays i'm taking my time with everything that i value because that's what you do you, you look at it like a meal nine times out of ten, ten you you microwave something it's not good for you anyway. It's not the best thing for you. Um, but it's a quick way for you to consume it. Whereas if you slow cook something, nine times out of ten, that's a meal that is going to be fulfilling to you on so many levels. It's going to be, um, you know, necessarily have to be healthy, but it's going to be healthier than whatever you put in the microwave and radiate for the sake of having it fast. So, I mean, you just want to keep those type of things in mind. Take your time be thoughtful uh in how you are investing your time and your resources and your energy don't give people who don't deserve your energy your energy don't give people who drain your energy your energy so with all of that being said i hope you guys have an awesome week i hope that this message helps you as you navigate through this week if you uh find yourself coming to any challenges throughout the week revisit the video there may have been something said that you may have missed or skipped over or forgot about that would help you to um to better navigate the week and the challenges ahead um so with that said peace